Welcome, welcome, welcome to Content Creators Cook-Off, recorded right here at the Goat Work Studio. C3 is a collaborative effort written and produced by The Goat Show in conjunction with Frosty Lizard Lives and The Atomic Monkey GT. Today's special guest is Nautica44, also known as Eager44 on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever episode of Content Creators Cook Off. We are sitting here in Frosty's Chill Zone today to introduce our guest. The person's name in Rec Room is Nautica44. In, uh, in their content on the YouTube's channel, it is Eager44. That is E-A-G-E-R44 if you wish to go find them. Um, so without further ado, I would like to present to you Mr. Eager44. Nautica, how are you doing today? How are you doing? doing much fantastic. Thank you. Welcome, Nautica, to the Frost Chill Zone. How's your day going? It's going good. Well, that's good. Um, what's going on with your channel? Like, we, there was a video um, that was called um, "Gambling in Echo Arena." How? How can you like? How's that even possible? Well, um, I kind of just got the idea because one guy. I was I was in a game one time, and this guy said, "I bet um, two popcorn kernels that, that that they won the match." So I did them one better and bet them three, and then I just went and two popcorn. Lobbies betting they stuff. don't fucking have popcorn and Echo. How what what do you mean you bet two pop? I am lost. <laughs> How do you? No, bet? but I ended up I I ended up winning the match. So I stole it from the pocket. There was also so we were betting. Uh, I got another match. We started betting things. And I said I bet four toaster strudels. So he, he asked what what uh, flavor, um, what were my toaster strudels, and he asked if they were strawberry, blueberry, multiberry, and I told him motor oil. So. Why that? <laughs> <laughs> motor oil. Why? Oh, <laughs> what? Woo! <laughs> So, uh, what what is the rest of the channel like? What is your main focus? You do a mainly Echo Arena. Like, what do you do? Like, is your is just, your what do you just do? dopey VR content? Like, realistically, I notice you do a lot of editing. That's pretty cool. Frosty does a lot of editing on his stuff too. Mm -hmm. That's one of his I main do. focuses. Yeah, that's my issue. Is I I'm, I suck at making thumbnails. <laughs> it, it takes practice to make thumbnails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, what he was, what he says. <laughs> so, is there anything else you'd like to to say about the channel or the uh, video that you've been working on? Like, is there anything else you want to say? I mean, just watch my videos. Realistically, I I put too much work into it. <laughs> I agree, I agree, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we need to go visit his channel. Once again, if you're looking at his name, don't get confused. Nautica44, that's his only his record. Mm -hmm. It is uh, Eager, Eager44, E-A-G-E-R44. Uh, that is the YouTube's uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification. One more thing. Oh, more what thing? you got? What? Subscribe to the Goat Show. Oh, thank you very much. That's awesome. Hey, that's yeah, Thank you very much, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> One more thing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever running of our Wipeout course. Our first contestant today is going to be Eager. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Eager, before we get started with this. Um, I make channel content. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here for our first ever episode of uh, Content Creators Cookout. Uh, we have our first contestant here who is uh, listed with the uh, the rec room name of Nautica44, but uh, Three, their YouTube two, name is one, Eager44. That is go. right, ladies and gentlemen. They are a YouTube content creator. And as you can see, they are already sucking the balls on uh, on the butter they pats. Are, yeah. Yeah, he is, he is slipping all over the place. He is, uh, he is, uh, he is slippier than a snail snatch or something. God damn. What, what? Oh, at least he, what, he, what happened? So I missed hard. it. What, what, okay, what happened? What happened? He, he fell through the, to the second, uh, 
He fell in the hole. There you go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. He fell yeah, in, he the, fell in the, the hole. Stay out of the holes. You are not a priest. <laughs> God damn it! I hate that when they go he straight for the so hole. Hard. Where do they think they are? Epstein's Island? What is going on over here? Well, yeah, I guess so. I mean. I mean, okay, here we are back on the butter pads, because he has not hit the first checkpoint yet. So, uh, Nautica44, I have checked out his channel, right? I have checked out this channel. Um, primarily, he does uh, content for uh, this thing called Echo Arena. We have played this before. He has Echo Arena. Uh, and, and he is primarily doing... Other, but he has some pretty interesting uh, ideas in his content. Oh, shit, he is blazing through now. He is almost at the finish line of the, uh, of the honeycombs here. He has uh, almost completed the honeycombs maze but uh oh so so one of his videos that i was watching he is entitled and he does good editing as well he is entitled uh, yeah. um gambling in echo arena and he has a very particular Gam gambling, yeah, yeah. Yeah, gambling i've never seen gambling in the echo arena I've i don't even know exactly how either. you would be able to or at least i did not know how you would go about gambling in the echo arena but i do know now uh and that's what he did he he you know, I thought outside of the box, you know, and, and came up with something um, yeah. kind of like I used to do in my beginning days, you know, with the, the purge matches and all of that. But he did the gambling in Echo, so that was pretty cool. Uh, he, he's got uh, he's got quite a few different videos on there, and, and actually I have found it to be One pretty engaging. Like I said, he, he, did, uh, he does do the editing as well. Um, so it's, it's, it's good engaging content, you know, it's, it's good engaging content. I saw him do an accidental double jump there, and uh, that was unfortunate because he hung. But he did do the right thing, and he dropped off of the ledge to uh, to be honorable and, and do the right thing. So he yeah, so he started over at the reset because he knew he had cheated. So we're all good. There he is. He has made it onto the big balls. And, oh remaining. my God! Did you see how well he handled oh those balls? I did. I have never seen a guy yeah. handle those balls. I have never seen anybody handle those balls so well. Never. Those those balls were uh, straight up dealt with. Oh no! Apparently he liked he it be because he is back to handle the balls once more. <laughs> he is back to going to the balls. Uh, first he needs remaining. to approach the balls though. He must uh, he must approach the balls delicately. Five. Okay. Four. Three. Two, okay, one. so he has not completed the course in the allotted three oh. minutes of time, but uh, even without completing in the allotted three minutes of time, where does it put him if he does not complete it in the allotted three minutes of time? I have not seen where it puts him. Oh, it puts him back at the beginning. Damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that will be the end of the round. He did not complete it in the end of the three-minute required time period. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. However, I do have to say, while you did not handle the rotating sphincters very well, but you did. I have never seen anybody handle the, the balls quite dunk. as well as you did. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. It was pretty amazing. Um, Atomic, I am sorry that you did not get to do the after-match really? interview, but he did not make it over there to press your button. I am sorry. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, how, you, don't, you feel bad about not being able to press his button, right? You feel bad about that? That is not the button I'm talking about. Um. Yes, I feel bad about not pressing his button. Okay. Well, you know, maybe later we can uh we can have you do running the course again. Are you interested in maybe in the future to run the course one more time? Maybe. Absolutely. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is not a K44 in Rec Room, but Eager 44 on the YouTube. That is E A G E R 44. You will find him and his Echo content uh, to be very compelling. I highly suggest that you uh, take a visit, like, subscribe, hit the notifications button, and uh, make sure that sucker is filled so that you can see all of his up and coming content. So. Thank you very much, everybody, for participating in the uh, Content Creators Cook-Off. And everybody, have a great day. As always, the goat loves you. Bye.